Hi, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Amir Iskandar bin Muhammad Khalil and I'm from group 2 and our title will be Operation of Air Conditioner. So let's start the presentation. So first is our introduction and problem statement. So the definition is air conditioning is the process of altering the properties of air to more favorable conditions. The control of this condition may be desirable to maintain the health and comfort of the occupants or to meet the requirements of industrial process irrespective of the external climate. In 2020, Harometer recorded the highest temperature in Malaysia at 37.4 degrees Celsius. This increase in temperature is due to the widespread uncontrolled filling of trees. Full manufacturing and combustion can also contribute to the temperature increase factor in Malaysia. This high temperature have resulted in many Malaysians installing air conditioner at home or in their workplace, resulting in increased energy consumption. So this is our objective. First is to find and make programming of how system air conditioning operating. Second is to write program using easy 68K simulator and then to make a system energy consumed by electricity. This is our project background. We use knowledge gained from the class. CMP, BSR, BQ, B and E are used in our design coding. We also build a time delay in subroutine. A conditioning system operates same as refrigeration system. We have done some research on internet about our little project all the operation in air conditioning depends on the compressor. Our air conditioning system are used inverter technology. It have well control on the compressor speed, refrigerant, flow rate, and cooling capacity by adjust the motor speed. This will save cost and decrease the power consumption by air conditioning system. System description. We design number zero represent 27 Celsius to nine represent 18 Celsius. Begin when a certain temperature is set, switch will become temperature sensor. LED lights will represent the fan speed. Compressor will stop when desired temperature reach. Assalamualaikum and good day to Dr. Ruzaini. My name is Tayana Binti Abdul Razak. I am from the EK Section 1 Group 1 and my matrix number is D012010147. For the PBL project, I will explain uh, the schematic diagram, list of component. So this is the schematic diagram of an inverter air conditioner. So the inverter is used to control the electrical voltage such as uh, current and frequency. Then it goes up to the variable motor speed, which is can control the speed. Then it goes to the compressor. As we know, the compressor is to cooling uh, the cycle. Then compressor to condenser, which is to releasing and collecting the heat. Between them, uh, there must be refrigerant vapor. So condenser to the expansion wave, where is uh, to control a flow of coolant in the cooling system. Uh, so we can get the refrigerant uh, in liquid. Then expansion wave to the evaporator, which is uh, the refrigerant can absorb the heat. Uh, so the refrigerant liquid plus vapor is produced. From evaporator, which the air coolant goes to the inverter, uh, must be in refrigerant vapor. Then the cycle uh, of air conditioner is repeat the same as working uh, of air conditioner. This is the list of components uh, that we use in PBL project. So number one is easy 60K software, uh, refrigerant, inverter, condenser, evaporator, compressor. So next, I will explain the flowchart. So the flowchart uh, is start with uh, the sensor will detect the inverter temperature. If T larger than T1, the compressor fan uh, will be decreased. If T smaller than T1, the speed of compressor fan will be set to the target speed. After speed of compressor fan decrease, 68K detect if T is larger than T1. 
If yes, 68K will detect if T is larger than T1. If no, the speed of compressor fan will be set to the target speed. If T is larger than T2, uh, the system will off. Uh, then if T is smaller than T2, speed of compressor fan uh, will be decreased. As uh, for the last one, after speed of compressor fan set to the target speed, step 1 will be replayed. Uh, T1 and T2 is the indoor temperature, uh, while the T2 is the indoor temperature that is about to reach the desired temperature. That's all for me. I will pass to the next member. Good day. My name is Zhao Minghui and I will present for the result part for the operation of air conditioning and let's assume the compressor and the air conditioning system is in the good conditions and we have our numbering system 0 until 9 for our temperature and 0 is represent the 27 celsius until the 9 is represent the 18 celsius so the indoor temperature is t1 or t2 and the inverted temperature is t so for our hardware displays, the LCD displays, the from left to right is the temperature set and after that is the indoor temperature T1 or T2 and the lastly is the inverted temperature. And this is our setup for the address E00012 is the switch. And E000010 is a LED, and E000000 is the segment, and this is our numbering system for 0 until 9. This inverter, compressor, condenser, evaporator coil is indicate it is in a good condition. And this, uh, we use the if and else for our assembly language. And this is represent it is blinking in the slow speed. And this is indicate it is blinking in the high speed. So this is the indoor temperature. And this is our subroutine. When we turn off our compressor, when the temp indoor temperature is reached to the desired temperature, the light will turn off. And uh, so this indicates the power consumption is safe and the compressor will off. This is our subroutine for blinking light and the delay also. So let's see about our results, our simulation that I have recorded previously. So this is our operation of air condition. This is our setup for the address E0000. Let's set to the segment and E0001 is to an LED and the switch E0012 is for the switch. So we have our own numbering system for the temperature set. The temperature 0 to 9 and the 0 will represent the 27 Celsius. 9 will represent the 18 Celsius. We have set the Temperature set up to 18 Celsius, that is 9 in our numbering system. And the LCD displacement is like 7 will be the temperature setting, and the 5 will be the indoor temperature, and the lastly 0 will be the inverter temperature. So, from the beginning of start, the LED will move from left to right to indicate the system is in, a, in the good condition, and after that, the LED light will represent the fan speed for the compressor, which it is controlled by the inverter. And so, this switch will represent the sensor for the temperature, indoor temperature, so let's start to see what, how we, so this indicates the system is in good condition. It is in a dust state, so the inverter can be controlled the fan speed. This is the fan speed, which is in the fast speed. And the temperature of inverter must be more than the indoor temperature in the condition, this condition. And when the indoor temperature have a small difference with the temperature setup, so the fan speed will become slow. 
So when the temperature is set as the indoor temperature, the inverter will control the compressor to off the compressor, so it will save the energy consumed. In the other case, when the when it detects the temperature indoor is more than temperature inverter, the inverter will control the compressor to move from low to high until the desired temperature reach. So when it detects the temperature is more than the inverter temperature, so it will become move from slow. The inverter will control compressor to slow and to high until the desired temperature is reached. So the compression will off. That's all from our presentation for this simulation. So thank you for listening and watching our video. Hi, my name is Amir Anas and I will represent you our discussion, recommendation and conclusion. From the result of the hardware, we can see that we use the segment when the address data will have a displacement, such as when dollar sign E fast zero between dollar sign E 402 and it will set 18 degrees Celsius to the switch and display on the LCD. Next, we use the move A dot L where the address data of numbering at A0 a1 and A2 in the main starting of our operation. Next, we put the delay before executing the next instruction and the processor cannot be functioned during the wait period or delay except for executing the loop. The roll.b is common rotate instruction that used in our coding task. And the common program control instruction that we use in our coding is BSR which is branch to subroutine. The display a second could be shown by using dollar sign E50 where it will display as an off sign. In the hardware that we see before that, for the address data of LED is using double dollar sign E00010 to show the blinking lights. And lastly, the address data of switch can be located in dollar sign E00012 which is the switch 0 and other one is switch 1. So the first recommendation is we must clean around the outdoor condenser unit because the air conditioning system will work efficiently if it is free out of debris. Second, we must make sure the vacuum in the vents and keep the vents unblocked to maintain it steady airflow from the system. Next, we must keep the curtain and blinds closed in the heat of the day when we want to on the air conditioner to keep some of the heat from warming the inside of your home. Other than that, we also can keep lamps and other heat producing appliances away from the thermostat of our air conditioning system because the air conditioning system no need to work harder and longer as the temperature is not too hot around the thermostat. Other than that, we can use white paint instead of black color of, for the air conditioning system to reduce the heat absorbed as white is tend to absorb less heat than black color. Lastly, we can use a modern and ref, modern refrigerant because it is more environmental friendly than the old one. To conclude, from our assigned task, we can see that we need to know how a conditioning system works. The examples of part of a conditioner that we can maintain is compressor, condenser and evaporator. From our assigned task, we must know how a conditioner works and how the switch acts as the temperature sensor. Other than that, we know how the inverter temperature must be higher than the indoor room temperature itself in order to maintain a cool surrounding. Next, we need to use eco-friendly refrigerant also, such as R32 instead of R134A to protect our nature from global warming and thinning of ozone layer. And lastly, we hope air conditioning system can be upgraded to meet the people demand and to protect Earth from disasters. That's all from us. Thank you.